so this is Boot to Gecko um, running on um, a Samsung phone. This is normally an Android phone, uh, but there's no Android on this one. Um, this is basically um, a web renderer, the same thing that is the engine that powers Firefox, um, running directly on the hardware of this phone. So there's no Android, there's no Flash, it's just web. So when I go into the dialer here, for example, and I can make a phone call, this is just a web app, like a website written in HTML and JavaScript, the same things you use to write uh, a website. We've also written it so that you can send SMSs, again, with a web app that is built just like the web. Um, it can get at your contacts, we can do mapping, the launcher, everything you see here is all written using open web technologies. And we can do things like view video, like this red panda here. And again, this has all been written basically as a website. So here we have a video playing um, on the device and in what looks like a, a video uh, playing app, which of course it is, but this one is written entirely in HTML and JavaScript, just like a website. Um, but you can see it's running quite well and smoothly like you would expect to see on an Android or I iOS device. Um, we have a number of apps here that are built in, again, all written as web apps. And you can play games too, like this one here, Cut the Rope, which is a popular mobile game. Um, I can play it, and again, this is not too surprising. It's I'm playing a game, but again, this is written entirely using web technologies. What this means is that we have a phone based on the web that people can that people can take and customize and make do and look however they please, um, and that can run on fairly standard hardware. It does for the moment, but it doesn't have to. Um, mostly we've done a demo here so that we can show that it works. Um, but again, given that this is all written the same way anyone would write a website, it's completely configurable by anyone who wants to take this platform and make a phone built on it. So um, we actually very specifically didn't want to create yet another mobile platform. We wanted to take a platform that we already have, the web, and fill in those few gaps that give it everything it needs to be to be able to be used as a phone OS. A native Android app written for Android wouldn't run here, but what we find is that many, many people out there for iOS and Android are writing their apps using HTML5 already and then wrapping them in, in a layer that will let it be installed on Android or iOS. Okay. Well, we're, 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 we're just removing that layer. Why not run HTML5 directly on your phone? It's easier, there are more people who know how to do it, and also because it's HTML5 and that runs on just about everything, you can build it in one place and let your users get it on their computers, their tablets, everywhere. Sure. You don't, it's not just an app for one platform, it's an app for everywhere the web runs, which is just about everywhere. So we are building uh, we are building Mozilla Market, which is a marketplace, which is um, a broader initiative than uh, just for Boot to Gecko. Our aim is to have HTML5 based apps be um, findable, installable, let people pay for them where that's appropriate um, on any platform we can. So we're bringing that to Windows, the Mac, um, Android, everywhere. Now, of course, on this platform, HTML5 apps are the native apps. Right, so we need them here as well. Um, but our goal is to have uh, apps built on open web technologies be installable and have an experience similar to that of a native app on every platform we can.